does laser eye surgery work? There is over 30 years of data and publications in peer-reviewed journals critically evaluating laser eye surgery for all of its effectiveness and the risks. And it has been shown universally to be a highly effective procedure for vision correction. The results of laser eye surgery are permanent and the satisfaction levels of patients that have laser eye surgery are very high in the region of above 99%. The stability of laser eye surgery has also been shown to be exceptionally high um, and the safety profile is well understood so that we feel confident that we can screen patients appropriately in order to maximise their outcome and reduce the chance of any problems. Does laser eye surgery hurt? Uh, the simple answer is no. Uh, we use local anaesthetic eye drops to numb the eye before the procedure, uh, making it as painless as possible. There are certain bits of the procedure where you may be aware of uh, what's going on. For example, in a LASIK procedure, there is a bit of pressure, uh, which typically lasts about 20 seconds, but uh, I wouldn't describe that as pain. Um, I've had the treatment myself, so I, I sort of understand how much pain, if you like, is involved, and there really isn't any. It's all, uh, a lot of it's psychological, and once you overcome that, the actual procedure itself is uh, painless. In terms of types of laser eye surgery, the, the two most common methods are LASIK, uh, L-A-S-I-K, and LASIK, L-A-S-E-K. Uh, the difference is that with LASIK, we create a flap in the cornea. We do that with a laser. We turn the flap over. The second laser then sculpts the eye into the correct prescription. The flap goes back, and effectively, we're tricking the eye into thinking nothing's happened. So the recovery is very quick. Patients love it because they can see amazingly well within a couple of hours of the procedure and the next day often they're 20, 20 or better. The other treatment, LASIK with an E, uh, relies on removing the top layer of the cornea. This we do normally with alcohol. Uh, the same laser sculpts the eye to the right prescription. We then put a contact lens on the eye and that top layer regenerates over three to four days. And it's quite sore and painful for those three to four days. So uh, clearly the most popular method is, is always going to be LASIK. The only time we do LASIK nowadays is if you're not suitable for LASIK. So that may be because your cornea is too thin or you're in a profession or, or a sport that may require hand-to-hand -hand combat and there's a high chance that the, the flap could be dislocated. So what are our laser eye surgery success rates? At OCL, we pride ourselves on our success rates. Our latest audit showed for common prescriptions of myopia or short-sightedness, 100% of patients see 2020 or better with both eyes. Around 90% of our patients can see 2016 or better. That means that our patients can see at 20 feet, but an average person would have to move to 16 feet to see. For common prescriptions, the chances of needing a laser enhancement procedure is less than 1%. Can you have laser surgery if you're long sighted? The answer to that is yes. In the past, there were issues with the way lasers treated long-sighted patients, and the main problem was that the treatment wasn't very accurate and that patients would regress. In other words, their prescription would come back again. Modern lasers, and in particular the Schwind Amaris laser, which is the laser we have here at Ophthalmic Consults of London, has exceptional published results with long-sighted treatments, and you can read those in the medical literature. We can treat up to six diopters of long sight together with astigmatism and we're getting really very good results with these patients. We can also combine that treatment with something called Presbymax in patients over the age of about 45 to help them with their reading vision and that helps them too. Can I get laser surgery for myopia? Another question and um, again the answer to that is yes. Uh, myopia is probably the biggest problem facing uh, a generation now in the world. A lot of people are short-sighted and, in fact, is the most common indication for laser eye surgery. Uh, we correct the myopic prescription. Our lasers can treat up to minus 12 myopia as long as you pass all the, uh, the other tests that you initially assess. Is there an age limit to having laser eye surgery? In the UK, we generally recommend that patients are over 21 before they consider laser eye surgery. And that's mainly because we want their prescription to be stable. And that's really the main determinant. So even if you are 21, if you've had a prescription that hasn't been stable for at least two to three years, you should wait till your prescription is stable and we can treat it. 
The upper limit of laser surgery is really around about 55 to 60 because at around about that age, people are beginning to see the first start of cataracts and it may be better to perform a lens surgery rather than a laser surgery. Now, it is possible to perform laser surgery on older patients and that's a technique we use to get perfect results from our cataract surgery. But as a primary procedure, you probably wouldn't do that over about 60. Can I have laser if I can have dry eyes? This does depend on the cause and severity of your dry eye. Dry eyes can be caused due to a number of reasons, but the main cause is the quality and quantity of your tears, and in most cases, it can be treated successfully or resolved completely by simply seizing contact lens wear. Your surgeon should be able to assess your tear stability and function, and then decide whether laser is an option for you. If your eyes are dry, they may suggest addressing that first with treatment or a period of no contact lens wear. In the majority of cases, treatment is successful and you can proceed with laser eye surgery. Laser can cause temporary dry eyes and in a very small number of cases, a longer standing issue of dry eye. So it is important that a thorough assessment is made before you proceed. The top risks of laser eye surgery. Laser eye surgery is one of the safest operations available today. We screen patients very thoroughly in order to try and ensure that the risk is reduced to the lowest level possible. With modern technology, the risk of laser eye surgery is less than a lifetime of contact lens wear. However, risks do still occur. The most common risk is the risk of dry eye. We treat patients for this before and after surgery in order to try and prevent it. There is always a very small risk of reduction of vision. This can be treated with further corrective surgery and occasionally with enhancement surgery, which is laser fine tuning. The final risk of surgery is, relates to a problem with the surgery itself. And we are confident in the ability of our surgeons in order to try and reduce this to the lowest level possible. And then the very rare event when it occurs to make the appropriate decision to keep our patients safe. Understanding the price of uh, laser eye surgery. So many clinics will advertise a, a price on the website and uh, it's important that the customer understands what that price relates to. Does it include the initial consultation? Does it include the surgery? How much aftercare is included? Uh, some clinics will quote a price, but then when they get you in, they'll then say, oh, there's an add-on price for something else. There's a wavefront treatment that they want to upsell to. Uh, what we do at OCL is when we quote a price that is all inclusive and it is inclusive of the best possible treatment available. So our wavefront treatment is standard uh, for all our patients. The other consideration is whether any enhancements uh, should be included in that price. And again, most clinics, uh, certainly us here at OCL, do include enhancement uh, procedures within the original.